on three-point shots. Kabopo attacking Gorgi and G says, not on my watch. Kogi, four to shoot for Andrew. He'll take a long three. Gorgi Jang, an offensive rebound, and then he did indeed walk. That was an obvious call. Five rebounds during his time on the floor, and he begins the second quarter on the bench. And Brandon Clark unable to connect from point blank range. Wiggins got knocked to the floor, no whistle, and it's gonna go in. Brooks, great job by Covington to stay with him on the spin move. Really impressive. And then Covington. Katie Bates Diop that time getting the steal. Let it fly. Man, he's talked about Corgi. 23% from downtown now. Although, as a team, Memphis has shot it much better. In fact, Jim, since the, these two teams met in Memphis in early November, that started to run. Have him shoot the perimeter jump shot, then drive it into the paint. If he gets if he gets hot and beats you, then you can live with yes. that. Yes. Well, you adjust. You know, if right. a guy starts making a few shots, then yes. Have been trending better since the second half of that game in Atlanta. They shot it great in the second half against the Hawks and continued that against the oh, G9. <laughs> points now. Gorgie Chang. It's gotten to a point when Gorgie puts it up, you're thinking it's going to go in. That's how good he's been lately. Kabopo blows the stuff, and that ends a run of seven straight possessions that have resulted in points for Memphis. Teague underneath, no. And then the Wolves promptly turn it over. Solomon Hill. Big start to this fourth quarter for Minnesota. Murphy Jang is going to be called for a foul here, being a little bit overzealous, trying to deny the game. Brandon Clark got hurt early in this game with a hip contusion and will not return. Wiggins three. Gorgi Chang comes in for an offensive rebound. And we're going to get a re- Andrew's perfect. And then the Wolves get the basketball. Chance to get it back to one or tie it with a three. Culver! Oh! 